Hello everyone, this is Akash here from BlenderSkill.cf and in this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this low poly abstract scene in Blender. This is another abstract scene in Blender and I'm going to use Blender version 2.76 and the Cycles Render Engine for this. It's really really simple to create and uh, let's get started with this. So let's open a new scene in Blender. Start by deleting the cube by pressing X and then delete. Then press Shift A, Mesh and add a plane. Now this is the plane which is going to hold all the particles and the particles in our case is this uh, spheres over here. So this is the plane. Um, so let's uh, add in some vertices to it. So come into the edit mode by pressing the tab key and then press W and select subdivide. And now over here in the subdivide section change the number of cuts to be 15. And now we have a whole lot of vertices to work with. Now come out of the edit mode by pressing the tab key again. Okay, now just drag out this panel and go to the modifiers tab, select add modifier and then select the displace modifier. The reason we are using the displace modifier is if you see that uh, the uh, plane is actually distorted. It's a good idea to use the displacement modifier uh, that makes the uh, job more quick and it's much more easy to do. So this is the Displace modifier, click on this new button to add in a new texture and I'm going to change this Blender render to the Cycles render engine. Come into this textures panel and make sure Displace is selected, change the type to be clouds. Uh, clouds is similar to the noise texture and, uh, and yeah as you can see now we have got some uh, distortions on our plane. It's way too strong now so change this strength of the displace modifier to be around 0.5 so now it's it's pretty cool now um so now let's add an array modifier and uh, array modifier should be above the displace modifier so just use this up arrow to move it up and uh, make sure you check this merge i'm also gonna add one more array modifier uh, which is gonna duplicate it in the y-axis so i'm gonna move this ar the second array above the displace again. So now we have two array modifiers and uh, for the second one I'm gonna change this uh, offset to be uh, 0 in x axis and 1 in the y axis so that it arrays it in the uh, it duplicates it in the uh, y axis and not in the x axis. Alright so now we have the uh, uh, modifier set up and now we can uh, add in the wireframe. So uh, if you see in this image I've also got the wireframe which is also connecting all these spheres. So we are going to use the wireframe modifier to do this. So uh, select add modifier and then wireframe. As you can see it has converted our entire mesh to wireframe. But we don't want it. We want the original mesh and the wireframe. So uncheck replace original of the wireframe modifier. And uh, uncheck even thickness. And uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it with the wireframe modifier. You can just decrease this thickness to be around 0 0.002. Um, I guess that's too thin. Yeah, 0 0.005 or 0 0.008. Let's use 0 0.008. Okay, so now we have the wireframe also set up. Um, now let's get into the particles. Uh, so come into the second layer by pressing 2. Then press Shift A, Mesh, and then UV Sphere. Th this gives us a UV Sphere. Um, we'll decrease the number of segments and rings. So open the Tools panel by pressing T. And uh, change the segments to be 16. And the rings to be 8. Okay. And then uh, change the shading to be smooth. Alright, so now we have the uh, particle set up. Now come in the first layer, select the plane and then I'm gonna come in the particle system uh, tab and then click on this new button to add in a new particle system. Change the type to be hair and uh, check advanced. Select emit from words and uncheck random. Also check use modifier stack so that uh, the uh, particle system modifier which if you, uh, you can see it in the modifiers uh, section you can see there's a particle system modifier also so uh, if you want the particle system to use the modifiers you need to check this modifier stack if we uncheck it it's not going to use these 
uh, array modifier and it's not gonna put particles on that but if we check uh, use modifier stack the particles are also gonna appear on the uh, on the array modifier okay so now uh, uh, we want some uh, so if we see uh, the number of vertices in the plane it's 289 so if you put 289 now and uh, if we come down and uh, change the render object to be that sphere which we created in the second layer if we do that and um, uh, and if you see that uh, it's not enough the size is way too big so we'll decrease the size first so I guess 0 0.005 yeah that's fine yep we'll use 0 0.005 for that and um, it's actually not enough the particles are not enough but if you see that we have 289 vertices but we have uh, four of them four of these same planes that's why you multiply 289 by 4 so you can multiply it over here so 289 with the star key I mean star symbol and then 4 and um, yeah you should have enough particles now so 289 into 4 yep um, yeah I believe that's fine okay um, I guess there's some problem um, it sh uh, the uh, particle system should be above the wireframe modifier if you come over here in the modifier tab it should be above that so just move it uh, above the wireframe and yeah now we have enough particles okay and uh, now let's uh, set up the materials so um, we are using the cycles render engine and the material for the sphere is very very simple just come in the materials tab click new and uh, change the surface to be mix shader change the first shader to be diffuse second shader to be glossy and uh, we want the FAC to be 0 0.15 or we'll take 1.6 and uh, the color to be black in the diffuse and the uh, glossy color to be a, sli a slight gray and we don't want much roughness we put 0 0.01 we want slight roughness okay we don't want it to be completely mirror and i'm also going to change the viewport color uh, to be black so i'm just going to draw a uh, drag and drop this diffuse color in this viewport color i'm going to name this material black okay so as you can see in the particle system if you come back to the first layer by pressing one you can see all these spheres are black now now uh, if we come back now uh, we want this uh, wireframe modifier also to use the uh, uh, the black material so if you see this we ha we had the wireframe modifier using the black material as well as these spheres so how do we do that uh, so first of all create a new material for the plane so make sure the plane is selected and click on this new the materials tab we'll create a material for this change the surface to be mix shader first shader to be diffuse and second shader to be glossy um, now change the FAC to be 0.3 and uh, let the color be white and uh, gloss roughness to be 0.3 this is gonna give us some nice uh, diffuse and glossy material and uh, yeah so now we have the material for the plane but we don't want this material for the wireframe so click on this plus button change this material to be black black come down and in the settings you'll find this path index change this path index to be one now if you come back to the modifier tab open this wireframe modifier and change the material also to be one you can see the uh, the wireframe modifier is using the black material now the reason is that the uh, path index of this black material is one and also we want to use the first material uh, uh, so that's why uh, now uh, the wireframe modifier is using the black material now Alright, so these uh, materials are basically set up. Now, uh, now let's set up the lighting. So now select the lamp, press X to delete, and uh, just delete it. And now we uh, we want some lamp. So we're gonna use a plane for the lamp. So press Shift A, mesh plane, and um, I'm gonna come in the top view, and orthographic view using the view menu. Scale it by pressing S and then X and then like that and then just move it up in the y-axis and then use the uh, a blue arrow to move it in the z-axis 
and I'm gonna scale it and I'm gonna rotate it like that that should be kind of fine now uh, add a new material change the surface to be emission and uh, let's use strength to be 10 so that uh, we get a lot of strength yeah that's fine I believe I guess it's too bright and change the world's color to be black also we don't want the world to emit any light it's too strong I guess we'll use 7 for now because we want these shadows also now let's position the camera so come in the camera view and uh, press N and then check off camera to view option I'm gonna just position my camera like this and I want the uh, entire camera to I mean entire uh, plane to cover the camera and I'm just gonna zoom out like that yep that's nice yeah that's fine uh, you can also use depth of field but uh, I don't think it's uh, needed in this scene much and I also check border rendering so that uh, I don't render the entire scene and yeah it's looking pretty cool Oh, that's fine it's not too bad at all only thing is it's way too noisy and uh, yeah I guess it's too powerful the lamp or I'll move it a bit down like that yeah that's fine that's pretty much fine now let's uh, get into the rendering so come in the uh, renders panel change the sampling to be 250 change the number of samples to be 250 and uh, you can render but I'm gonna save it before that so I'm gonna just save it here tutorial and then I'm gonna click on render so, so this is gonna start rendering and then we can go into the compositor uh, to make it look more awesome so the rendering has finished and uh, I guess uh, we should have used a bit more samples probably 300 would be better because I can still see some noise uh, over here and all um, it's it's nice I like the lighting and the shadows and uh, I don't know why some places uh, the wireframe is not showing up actually that was the problem in the uh, in my final render also but anyway it still looks cool and now let's go into the compositor uh, to add in all the FS uh, so I'm gonna use photo editing nodes for that uh, so I'm gonna append in by pressing file append and uh, let me op uh, open photo editing nodes Dublin file and select node tree folder select all by pressing A and uh, click on append from library I'm gonna uh, change this UV image editor to be the node editor and uh, I'm gonna change it to be render layers and I'm gonna close this panel by pressing N and check uh, backdrop and use nodes okay so now we have the uh, render layer and the composite node I'm also going to add in a viewer node by pressing Ctrl, Shift and left clicking on the render layer node to add in a viewer node. Okay, so that's nice. Now, uh, if you uh, uh, press Shift A and select group, you'll see the new nodes which come with the photo editing nodes back. Uh, so let's start uh, with uh, the temperature node. So uh, from the uh, Shift, uh, from group, select temperature. And then uh, put it between this render layer and the viewer node so that we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna zoom in a bit, that's fine. Change the coolness to be zero and the warmth to be around about 0.4 or 0.5 is fine, I guess. Yeah, or we'll use 0.45. Um, I guess 0.5 or 48. 48, that's fine. Okay, temperature. Then we'll add in a focus node, so press shift A, group, focus, place it here, yeah, this is the focus node, change the size to be around about 0 0.1, and the focus type, uh, focus, uh, if, I, if I show you focus type, one focus is this blur which blurs the, uh, the rest of the scene and just focuses in the center, the other focus, uh, if you decrease this value, you'll get this one, which, uh, which just darkens the uh, the uh, area you can also change that black color to be some other color if you want but I want the blur focus so change the focus type to be 0.1 which is the blur focus 
and the change the size to be 2.1 okay so that it, it's just there in the corners and I'm gonna change the blur to be 9 so that we get a lot of blur yeah that looks cool and uh, saturation that's fine color opacity yeah that's fine um, now let's add in a dirty lens node uh, which is gonna add all those uh, kind of scratches and all those things so to do that press shift a grip and then dirty lens place it over here and uh, change the opacity to 0.4 so that we don't have all these scratches way too much showing uh, it's pretty much cool i guess and then now we're gonna add in a vignette node so press shift a um grip vignette and place it here size to be around about five and um spread is fun brightness up yeah that's fine so the compositing is done yep it's done and um you can also uh, connect this output from the vignette node to the final composite image input and i'm gonna save my project by pressing ctrl s and i'm gonna come into the uv image editor so this was the render result and uh, i guess uh, you should use 300 samples to get a, a bit more better result and uh, this is the uh, result after compositing it looks cool and it's pretty similar to what i got and uh, yeah it's, it's it's looking pretty cool i guess so you can save this image by pressing f3 so you directly and save it and yeah i hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial it was great fun making it and it was quite a short one and uh, it's very very easy uh, to create this one it was a kind of abstract scene itself a low poly one and uh, and yeah i hope you all enjoyed watching it and all the download files uh, well, if you wanted to download the finished Dublin file, you can visit blenderskill.cf. Uh, the link will be in the description and you can download it from there. If you want photo editing nodes pack, you can download it. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and uh, do subscribe and leave a comment.